Hey everyone, so I'm going to show how to get the Google Play Store here on an Amazon Fire HD 8. Uh, this is the 2024 version one that just came out. First thing you have to do is go to your settings, then go to security and privacy there, and then apps from unknown sources. Click into that, hit the Silk Browser, allow from the source, Turn that on. If that's not turned on, the rest of this will not work. Then go into your Silk browser here. Then I like to search for how to download Google Play Store onto Amazon Fire. Go ahead and we'll hit search. Uh, at any point, you guys need to pause the video, just go ahead and pause the video here. Uh, then I scroll until I see this How To Geek website. Go ahead and click onto that. And then of course, you can follow the rest of this video, or you can just use this as well. This tells you how to do everything I'm going to say here. Uh, keep on scrolling down here. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Until we find these here. So the first one is going to be Google Account Manager. And then, depending on which device you have, you might need to click on a different link. Uh, we are going to click on this top one here for the 2024 version of the HD8. Scroll on down to you see the download APK. Hit that. Uh, eventually this will pop up saying the file may be harmful because you're downloading it from a uh, not Amazon based source. We'll go ahead and hit download anyway. It will go ahead and it will download. You can uh, swipe down, you can see it has downloaded there. Go ahead and we'll hit back. Or you can actually just go ahead and hit the top X there if it opened up another link for you. Uh, then we'll scroll down some more till we see this Google Services Framework. Again, for the 2024 version, I'm going to hit this top one here. Go ahead and hit that. Then it should open up a link again. If yours is like mine and when you click it, it's not opening, just click and hold and then hit open in new tab. And then we're just going to do the same thing here. Scroll on down to until you see the download APK. Hit, hit that. Uh, it will go ahead and start. Give it a few seconds here. Hit download anyway. Again, it will download up here. Go ahead and hit the X. Scrolling down some more. Next will be Google Play Services. Again, we need to find our correct one. I am just going to go ahead and hit this top one here. Uh, this has not been updated quite yet for the new 10th, uh, the new Fire 8. So we're going to go ahead and we'll hit this top one here. Open in new tab. Click that tab. Scroll on down. Uh, so this one's going to be a little bit different here. So we have all these different ones. Uh, we are going to hit this top one because that should be the newest variant. Get uh, off the ad. Scroll down, download APK, and I can see this one is 204 megabytes. The last two were somewhere around five-ish megabytes. This one will take longer to actually download. But go ahead and hit download APK. It will take a moment here. Hit download anyway. Uh, again, this one's going to take a little bit longer to download. Uh, once yours is done downloading, hit the X. And then the very last thing we want to do is the Google Play Store itself. Let's, sorry, I actually went right past mine. Uh, so Google Play Store, there is only one for this. Go ahead and click that. Once you open up again, it'll give you this list where you're going to do the newest one. Do make sure you do not hit the bundle. The bundle is not going to be correct. Uh, so make sure you hit the one, the top one there. At least when I'm making this video, it is the top one. Download APK again. This one is 63 megabytes, so it's a little bit longer than the first two were. Not as long as the uh, last one was. Hit download anyway. It'll go ahead and it'll download all that good stuff. Next, we are going to get out of Silk. Then we'll go find your files. Hit the three dot or the three lines up top there. 
go to downloads and you have all this stuff downloaded now you gotta make sure you do these in order so it does give you a timestamp for each of them but make sure you do them in the same order that we downloaded them in go ahead and we'll click it we'll hit continue we'll hit install give it a moment to install done go to the next one do the same thing continue and install done this one will take the longest again this was the biggest file continue install give it a moment to install so that one took probably close to close to a minute for me to install 30 seconds to a minute i'll go ahead and, and hit done and then last but not least all right so if yours is like mine and it's not working what you'll have to do what i had to do go back here re-click on this uh, models and then this this is for intro 12 plus apparently it's not working on at least i'm not in mine i had to go down to this one that says android 10 plus uh, the non-bundle version just the apk and then i was able to download that and then go back in here and install it once you have it installed it should be google play once you click into google play it'll make you sign in it'll check it, your information of course just like on pretty much anything that has google play store then once you sign in you should have google play store now i do need to mention for some reason this may or may not work for you uh i've had devices in the past i've tried doing this on and it didn't work tried again like a week or two later and it worked uh so for some reason it just doesn't work with every single one i mean you can i can have two two of the same exact tablet right next to each other try to do the same thing one will work one may not uh just a very weird thing if it doesn't work uh, you can delete all the files, retry it again, or wait a week or so, uh, or a couple of days, the next day, whatever, and then try it again on a different day. Uh, but for some reason, it doesn't always want to work. Uh, then too, they do update this every now and then the way we just did it. Uh, so you might need to wait for it to be updated. But you can see on my 2024 HD, uh, HD8 here in my emerald green, uh, it worked. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully it'll work for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.